Now after ha uh, having two 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 good seasons every year, you know, used improving. Now it's time for 1991. There's a lot of big expectations for that team, and the team did go 10 and one. Had a great year. Give us your insight on that season. Well, that was obviously the year we were we were pointing to. Uh, um, Royce Love and Tom Lukowski were going to be seniors. We had a very nice offensive line. Uh, we only had uh, one spot that we really had to cover up for, and, and uh, um, we had a kid that came in and did, did a tremendous job at that position as our left tackle. And then uh, the combination of having two very good tailbacks in uh, uh, Royce Roberson and Martel Frank. <laughs> And uh, uh, we're having a little excitement here with the dog. <laughs> but uh, that was a huge, uh, huge key. And then we thought we were very solid on defense, which we were. I mean, we had uh, Dave McGlynn in our defensive backfield and eventually played at Wisconsin uh, um, along with a, a lot of other key players. And one thing, Carl, in this, I don't want people coming back really angry. I know there was a lot of people that I'm going to leave out here that had great seasons for us and were great con uh, contributors to our program. So I apologize. Uh, I don't mean to offend anybody. Yeah, that's fine. So the first game of the season, you know, you played against Lake Central at EC, and you guys dominated. What did that do for the uh, team team confidence? Well, I I. I I think the biggest thing with that is it kind of showed us, hey, we could come right at them. Um, they had a wonderful player that ended up playing in the NFL, but a kid by the name of Jared Tomich, and Jared's still around in the uh, in the region here, running uh, uh, strength conditioning programs or fitness programs. But he was a boy. Was he a physical specimen? He could play. And right away in that ball game, we found out that uh, yes. Uh, you know, Tom and, and Royce, uh, they could take on the best of uh, what anybody can offer. So that that helped us out. Other than that, it wasn't a real emotional win. It was more of a win than we kind of expected. Like you pointed out earlier in the, in the previous segment, we kind of anticipated having a big year that year. Okay. Now you guys go, uh, you win nine more games straight. Um, now it's time for sectionals. You know, once again, you guys dominate. But now you got a big game against Merrillville High School. Uh, a lot of hype in the papers. Um, it was a sold-out crowd. Give us a little experience on that well, game. Well, that that was great because that was the biggest game uh, that East Chicago up to that point had hosted. Um, you know, was it was their first real big uh, um, playoff game. Uh, it was an exciting atmosphere. The place was packed. The weather was absolutely horrible. Um, the wind was coming off the lake so bad. In fact, Carl, in the opening, um, in our warm-ups, our punter kicked the ball backwards. Wow. Our punting game wasn't that good, but believe me, we weren't kicking them backwards. But they went backwards the first uh, three punts when we were going towards the north end zone. And believe it or not, in the first series, we got stuck down there, and uh, we had to go for it. Wow. We went for it on our own uh, eight instead of had, trying to punt out of there because we thought it was going to be uh, a safety. Wow, wow. Now, you know, you guys ended up beating Merrillville High School. Yeah, right. we, we had a very nice game there. We did not throw a pass uh, in that wind. Uh, Royce and uh, Mart Martell had a tremendous game. Royce, uh, Love, uh, uh, really did a nice job on their uh, – uh, middle linebacker Zach Wells, and then uh, Tom Lukowski was able to really dominate uh, a very good Division One player in Joe Clark, and uh, um, we were just able to, to very businesslike uh, take care of them uh, uh, at our place. But believe me, the weather was had a big factor in that game. Wow! Now it's time for sectional championship. Something that Central to this day has never got over the hump. Now you're going to Crown Point. Early in that season, you guys dominated Crown Point 40-18. Well, no, we didn't really dominate them. Uh, that was a, a very high-scoring game that we we were fortunate to to uh, uh, run away from them later in the later stanzas of the game. Our biggest problem was our pass defense was solid but not spectacular. 
Uh, like I said, we did not uh, we did not blitz a, a lot. Um, so we depended on our front four uh, to bring the heat. And uh, they had a very good quarterback in, in the name of Chip Pettit, a kid uh, that I coached with here. Uh, and he had a wonderful game. They had a great game plan. Uh, and again, weather had a huge factor in that game. We came down here to set up for that game uh, before the game, and uh, it was nice and sunny. The weather was uh, really horrible that fall. It was nice and sunny, but little did we know when the, the sun was going to go down, that ice was going to form. And the, probably the biggest moment in that game was the coin flip because they knew exactly where to hit the ball, and they got us back into the ice right away. Wow, wow. A lot of players felt like Crown Point um, watered the field more than what it should have been to ice the field. I mean, as far as some kind of conspiracies, what what you, what you feel about that? I think uh, the gods conspired against us. I think if we uh, we we uh, didn't react, you know, it's it's a typical high school ball game where some things get away from you. We didn't react very well on a couple kickoffs. We let the ball sit on the ground for a little bit, which also hampered uh, uh, the bad field conditions. But we we uh, contributed to that. Um, we also uh, Roy had, uh, we had called timeout late, late in the game, had talked about them possibly running a bootleg, uh, a naked on us with uh, Pettit, although he hadn't done that all season, but. With the again with the with the field conditions and them not wanting to put the ball up for air uh, up in the air uh, because I really still feel we athletic we were better and they weren't going to challenge us on that aspect so they came out they booted and uh, our guy uh, fell down on the ice so uh, and they were able to get the uh, two yards to uh, to um, ice the game uh, pardon the pun wow. but. Uh, it was a great high school football game. It was a game uh, that, ver that hurt very much. Uh, um, I look at it, after all these years, Carl, being in football, and I'm still helping out uh, over here at Crown Point uh, uh, as a volunteer, you only get X amount of uh, chances to win Section 1 in Class 5A football. I think it's one of the tougher things to do especially in our region. You only have one shot. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of years, your teams just don't physically match up. You're either missing a couple key spot ingredients one place or another. So you only get, you know, four or five opportunities maybe in ten years. So maybe one, one out of every two and a half, two and a third year, you're going to be good enough to, to be able to compete for a sectional championship. Well, we didn't get it done on our first opportunity. Got you. Now, that season, you know, you guys were 10-1. and one. You also was ranked number one, two in the state through, throughout the entire year. And you also had a running back in Montel France who ran over 1,900 yards. And you also had Royce Robinson, his backup, had close to 1,000. So, you know, you had a great season. What was your philosophy that season with, with that team? Well, we were very, we were very uh, basic uh, in offense. Now, granted, this is... You know, this is almost 20 years ago. Uh, <clears throat> we were an I formation team. Uh, we were going to run ISO power uh, outside zone, which w it was basically a, a new scheme at that at, at that point. And, and that was our base uh, run place. We had a, a, a simple dive for a fullback and a simple trap because we had such a great athlete and Ray. Uh, Royce uh, Love, but Royce, Royce was more of a physical guy than uh, uh, an explosive runner. He, he was a real physical blocker, so he was almost like having an extra guard. Um, obviously, our biggest strengths were, were was our, our uh, uh, two tailbacks. 